What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards and Comics here. Well, recording from the road today, so if the mic sounds a little off, that's why. We have our official statement from the good folks over at SGC about the acquisition. Nothing too informative on this in regards to kind of what we already didn't know. They are definitely leaning all in with the this changes nothing. Uh, SGC will remain SGC and continue along their merry little way. Now, do any of us actually believe that? In the short term, sure. Uh, you know, they'll acquire them. We'll see what happens. Kind of let things ride as we kind of talked about on the live stream last night. And... They made PSA slash, and I should say it's collectors that acquired it. It's not PSA, I know. Um, but let's be honest here. Everyone just associates PSA with collectors. From collector's standpoint, they could be moving into this saying, hey, you know what? We'll try running them separately and just kind of see what happens. And if it works, it works. Cool. All right. Money keeps pouring in the door. We're good. We don't have to rush on anything. We could just kind of let this play itself out. So that is definitely path one. Path two could very easily be, oh, um, all of a sudden people aren't sending SGC as many cards because maybe the SGC loyalists aren't happy about this situation. And this is going to be a problem for us going forward. Submission levels are dropping, this, that, the other thing. And then it can quickly turn into, oh, um, yeah. You're just PSA now. Welcome to PSA Florida. Here's some red, white, and blue labels. Here's some new cases. Uh, let's get you some new Sonic sealers, and we are good to go here. The people I am most curious to hear from, and just based off reading comments, like on their own social media posts and some other stuff here is, if you are an SGC loyalist because you do not like collector slash PSA, what is your thoughts today what is your plan what are you gonna do who are you gonna grade with are you gonna continue to send the sgc under the collector's reign or are you gonna pivot to someone else or wait and see those are the people i am most curious to hear from i mean i'm curious on everyone's comments but i think those are the people that are gonna have the most unique perspective on this so if let's assume on paper they want to keep them separate for the time being anyway why? That's the real question here. Why? Why now? Why would PSA go after SGC? That was something we talked about last night as well. Uh, there's a couple different angles on that. One, SGC was the easiest attainable slash acquirable. Uh, they were not tied up in a larger corporate structure. They were, you know, had basically a single owner for lack of a better. And it was you know, you're negotiating with basically one person or small team of people and not some megacorp. They were out there. This is not the first time that people were talking about um, an acquisition being close in regards to uh, SGC. There was rumors circulating around with CGC as well, not too terribly long ago. So that's, that's piece one of this. They were easy to acquire, the easiest to acquire. Beckett, you know, could someone acquire Beckett? I guess, sure, but it's it's complex. If you really wanted it, you could probably figure it out, but it's not, it's not easy. There's a lot of friction there. CGC is tied up with Blackstone. They're their own huge, massive corporation. You're not acquiring them. So if you want to add market share, which PSA already has a massive part of it, then, okay, you can, you could tack on a few more percentage points by acquiring SGC. To me, I'm really coming around to the idea that this was a blocking maneuver, that Fanatics was looking to get into this space. And for the same reasons we just, just discussed, if you want to walk into the space, SGC is the most likely easily acquirable target, has good, has, you know, they're the second biggest player, even though there's a, a wide, a wide gap there between those two. Uh, they have good brand loyalty, customers like them, people like them, you know, all that good stuff that people like about SGC. You could walk in and acquire them, and now all of a sudden you are Fanatics grading, or they could keep it named SGC, but Fanatics owns it. 
and then build it out from there and, you know, you know, blow it up and not like blow it up in a bad way, blow it up as in like, we're going to give you guys a ton of money, go expand this thing. And they would be the one entity of uh, an SGC backed by fanatics would be the one entity that could go at collector slash PSA. So by PSA preemptive striking here, they remove them off the board. Uh, and this would not be the first time that this happened. Remember when PWCC sold to Fanatics not too terribly long ago, the second place winner in, or second place bidder in that was PSA. And people were questioning, you know, you already have Golden. Why do you need PWCC as well? And I think it's for the same reasons. It's more about the block than anything else. So I think that is the... And that's just the, the fanatics angle on that is just is all hypothetical. I, I have nothing to back that up with other than asking why, why would they do this? You know, you could see, you could paint a picture that they would do it for non fanatics reasons. But I think the picture is a little bit clearer when you factor in, Hey, you know, we get all these benefits of purchasing SGC. And then a big side benefit is we block PSA, or I'm sorry, block Fanatics uh, from acquiring them because then they're immediately a much bigger thorn on our side. So we'll just head that off at the pass. Now, predictions going forward, what do I think? Um, I mean, I would not be surprised if in two years SGC is just folded into PSA at that point in time. Um, I, I just, from, you know, if you throw around buzzwords like vertical integration and all that nonsense, I just know I just don't know that it makes sense to have a second great a second sports card or not just sports card a second card grading company under your umbrella of collectors when you already have PSA and I get the like the cases that you can make to other industries you know Carlos was talking about like the beer industry last night and there's plenty of retail like clothing stores that do similar things and, and all that sort of stuff but this just feels like a, I don't know that cards relates the same to that. Scary part is, is, is that it is one less competitor and one less thorn in their side. There is one less person to keep them honest. And like I said, if you're an SGC loyalist at the top of the video, now what are you looking at? Are you going to CGC? You know, I don't know that Beckett's the savior that you all want. So CGC makes the most sense. Um, I'm sure the tag bots are already commenting. This is the t this now is the time. Uh, cool your jets, guys. Cool your jets. Grade cards that came out after you know you need to grade actual vintage and order older cards before anyone's going to take you guys remotely seriously. Um, maybe for modern they get a little extra submissions for this, but they had a down month this month and are already having operational problems keeping up with you know their tag XS nonsense trying to figure all that out so uh, i don't think this is tags time to shine so that's kind of where we sit the big four is now a big three with an asterisk i guess i don't know it's gonna be this is gonna be hard to wrap my mind around for a while um a lot more thoughts and nonsense on this uh as we kind of go forward and i'm sure more and more things will kind of come out uh, as we move forward here through the next coming days, that's the way this stuff typically works. So that's all I got for you, boys and girls. We will catch you on the next one. Wild times out there. Peace.